<laughs> okay, so um, I'm using tracks for Africa to get from the town of Basiba to Halmeringshausen in Namibia. Uh, tracks for Africa basically says go straight for the next two kilometers, and this is on a so called unpaved road. Um, I think it's more like a goat's path and I keep on having to zigzag between these thorny trees which are damn hardy and scratching the vehicle um, and obviously if you look ahead there is no road uh, it's a goat path or a cow path or something at some stage my vehicle is pretty hardy so I'm gonna try and wiggle my way through but um, it's yeah, I'm not quite sure where the heck I wiggle my, my way through. Um, I don't really want to scratch all the paint off my, my vehicle and destroy my tires, but I will try to wiggle my way through and keep to the path. Um, but this is not going to be the world's easiest task. I've got a belly pan protector on so I can drive over some of these bushes and not scratch the underneath of our vehicle but I'm really confident in my driving skills and in the vehicle and I must admit I'm feeling a little daunted at this stage I can of course always turn back which I think I will do very very shortly if I can't pick my way through seems to be a little way here on the left let's see if we can wiggle our way through I had a small path in front of me just now but that's now overgrown and gone okay here we go a slight way through for a while 1.9 kilometers to go before I take a hairpin right now that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be on a road Could be as bad or worse than this goodness gracious me where am I going just a little bit concerned about these thorn trees some of the thorns on them are m mighty vicious and they will go right through between the tread of my tire <sighs> And then I'm going to have to try and repair a tire puncture, which is easy, but I just don't want to do it, to be honest. I have got mud terrain uh, tires on this vehicle, so it's got a really nice thick tread base. But at the same time, I don't want to have to be repairing vehicles so now this is one of the very good things about my personality and also a very bad thing I persevere but at the same time sometimes you got to turn back to go forward and as you'll see I can see what I'm driving over but not really and in the middle of nowhere I get reception on my phone <laughs> let's just turn the hill silent so believe it or not just off camera I've got my tracks for Africa GPS uh, software on a satellite navigation system and it says I'm heading in the right direction believe it or not 1.6 kilometers to go slightly to the left of this apparent road uh, as far as my eye can see there's not a lot in front of me but let's see where we end up going here this is Namibia it's actually a, a very well infrastructured country in terms of road systems 
so I am going to blame the Tracks for Africa system and not the Namibian infrastructure. Maybe this was a road a very, very long time ago. But right now, this is not a road. 1.5 kilometers to go. And then it does say I hit a road, but it also does say I'm on a road right now. Just before I put the camera on, there was a, a road and there were relatively fresh tracks, probably last few hours. <laughs> and then they stopped and they reversed out. <laughs> so they must have come down here as well and then thought, uh-uh we are going to change our minds see I don't mind driving over this kind of gravel because then I can see where I'm where I'm driving over that it's this stocky little short grass that I'm driving into now I just don't know if it's going to be a bit of a dip sharp rocks tree trunk blown over a little thorn bush which is going to give me a puncture. Oh, 1.3 kilometers to go. And I know people often say to me, oh, it's so great. You're driving to China. What an awesome experience. It's like one big holiday. It isn't. I can promise you that my brain is working very, very hard right now. Picking a line. Uh, we're on a bit of a hill, a bit of a copy. I'm going to try and go around it. And it's moments like this that I'm glad I've got a vehicle that can sustain me for at least a week in terms of food and water. And I see a house of some sort in, the, in front of me. Let's hope it's not a farmer with a hunting rifle and a long range sight, thinking I'm some sort of poacher. But this terrain is actually not so bad at the moment. I need to go to my right, pick my way through the bushes. I'm off track according to the GPS, so let's get back onto track. Oh, here's fresh, here's fresh uh, tracks, vehicle tracks. I kind of follow it. Maybe it'll be a slightly easier path single wheel I can see but too wide for a motorbike I'm gonna follow it and see if it takes me to a slightly better track this is definitely worn course I'm going straight and the system is saying I need to do it turn a right um, there's a, let's turn right here I don't know if you can see in front of me there seems to be a row of trees from the left to the right I'm going to turn the wheel so you can see that 